Hey, what's up, Electronubers? Just wanted to give a quick update on my Cyclone CNC mill. This CNC mill is open source. You can download all the files from GitHub and just print it in your home if you got a 3D printer. The machine works perfect. It has a quite nice precision with the NEMA 17 step motors and some gears there. It's all 3D printed with PLA, mater PLA material. This is the RAMS 1.4 board with an Arduino Mega and I placed a fan here, a small fan here to cool the step motor modules. You can see those but are there. I got these pins output here to connect my probe. I connect two wires here and then connect one to the spindle and one to the board and that's how I control the probe for the z-axis. So the problem was the spindle. First I've used this normal DC motor as a spindle and this is very bad. I've used it with this drill bit that I bought from eBay for just one euro. But the motor shaft moves a lot and it vibrates. So that's not very good for, for high precision. This DC motor out from a 12 volt uh, hand drill. It has quite some torque but very low precision. I mean the shaft just bounces and bounces and move around. Board that goes right in there on the printer. But as I said, this motor is bad. Made some tests for some circuits with uh, the 0.1 millimeter bit, but the printed the print test was just awful. Because the bit moves a lot, the print has no precision and is very thick. So I thought it was better to use a brushless motor like this one. So I made another support and I screw in place the brushless motor with the ESC. But this is a very small brushless motor and it has no torque. So this was also a bad idea. So I thought that it would be nice to buy a new spindle perfectly designed for CNC milling. And this 500 watt spindle cost around $100. But I paid less than $100 for the entire machine. So it was like I have to pay $100 for the spindle and the entire machine is cheaper than that. This spindle is very nice, it's very quiet, doesn't vibrate. It has a potentiometer to regulate the speed, but I think it's too expensive for me. But I still want to make uh, decent quality PCVs. So there is another option. There are these Dremel tools, I think they are 150 watts power. And the shaft got some high quality bearings, I think two or three of them. And the bit doesn't vibrate at all. So I thought maybe buy one of these. But this also is like 100 euros. So yeah, bad idea. But yesterday I went to my local depot market and I found this one on sale. This one was just 15 euros. And that's great. But I tried to put it on my spindle support and the support was too small and I broke it. So now I had to make, to print another support a little bit bigger and test this out. So now this is full speed. It doesn't sound much. I mean, yeah, but it's not that loud. This DC motor was extremely loud. So I think this will be better. So this uh, already has the drill bit support perfectly for the 0.1 millimeter bit. I think it's 8 millimeter, the input of the bit, I think, I'm not sure. You can regulate the speed depending on, on what we, are you milling. This push button is to lock the spindle when you have to change the bit to lock it in place. So we won't spin. Put it in there and you can see that it has a lock for the on and off switch. So you switch it on and lock the, the button so it will mill the entire project. So 
that's it that's the update of the cnc machine i will do a full tutorial about this machine but right now i'm working on two tutorials about the feed controller and also the arc lighter the 10,000 volts arc lighter so i can do it now but i've got myself a new drill for the cnc machine a new spindle let's call it that that way and i have to test this machine i haven't tested it yet because the support broke out so i will print another one today or maybe tomorrow and make another update so thanks electronovers and see you later guys